Oh, well, hello everyone, and welcome to my new Let's Play series. I am a desperate outcast in a very hostile world, and I did not prepare a speech ahead of time, so we're just going to leave it at that. But that's why I'm all wrapped up in rags. See? It's ra rags. It's thing. Okay. Yeah, there. So we have a couple of rules for this Let's Play series. Because I am using a ton of mods, I do not have progression enabled. So there's nothing there. So I have everything, and there is a lot of everything, as you can see. But I have some rules for myself. Rule one, I cannot use personal hydrogen bottles. Uh, I can't, there is a mod to remove them from the game, but I can't run it because when a grid spawns in that's supposed to have them, it crashes. Rule number two, I cannot use uranium until after visiting an asteroid, so I can only use wind power, solar power, and hydrogen engines until I make it to space. Rule number three, I must build a wheeled vehicle before I can fly anywhere. This doesn't count using the jetpack, I, it counts for vehicles. Rule four, I must build ballistic weapons before projectile weapons. This includes handheld weapons, uh, fixed weapons, and turrets. Each one of them is their own thing. I have to build a ballistic one before an energy one. Rule five, I think. I must launch a satellite into, well, what I'm going to call orbit, into space, before I can do any space missions. So I thought about this the other day and I thought it would be a cool thing to do, that I have to automate a rocket launching a satellite. I can't steer it, I can't use cameras on it remotely, I just have to, like, track it from the ground. What was that? One, two, three, four, five, and finally rule six. I must travel to an asteroid before I can use an ion engine. Well, before I can build them, I can use them. So any enemy ships that I capture, I am allowed to fly, but if I grind anything down that would violate these rules, I cannot rebuild it. Although that being said, we have the Aw Scrap mod on, which means when I grind something down, I do not get components at all. So. Piracy is going to be very useful. So without further ado, let's kill ourselves. Alright. Yeah, we can start on... I'm not going to start on Paradise, because that... For reasons which you'll see later. I can start on Z or Core. I think I'm going to go for core. It doesn't have enough oxygen to breathe, but I can pull it out of the air so that if I don't get around to farming enough ice, I'm not dead. By the way, this uh, screenshot you see is not what it looks like. I'm probably going to add more worlds later. Uh, Z has no oxygen in it and slightly less gravity. Paradise has a lot of oxygen and gravity, and then Bylin has a lot of gravity and no oxygen. I cannot spawn in the space suit or the space... Yeah, I could maybe spawn in the space pod, but I can't spawn in the space suit. Not because of any rule I have, but because in this particular save, when I try and do that, it crashes. So we spawn. And there are more worlds than this. These are just the ones I'm allowed to spawn on. That is such a cool looking planet in the background. The weird thing is that planet is not yellow either. Okay, this is not the worst place I could spawn. And we have touched down. Alright. Alright, I suppose I can bring this window up now. I didn't actually mean to get in there. Show me your invent. Uh, you know what? Whatever. I'll just get to the inventory this way. I don't actually know if any enemies, which is to say, like, wolves or spiders, will... Okay, that's just my steps. Will spawn out here? Uh, I didn't wait long enough to see if that happens. Alright, so... Cannot use the hydrogen bottle, but I can use the oxygen bottle, so... 
I'm just gonna come over here and bye. Not even a thing, it's still a thing. I thought this would work, it's not working. Ah, whatever. If it's still rolling around by the time I get something built up, we'll do something with it. Alright. Hey there, body location. We don't need you. What we do need is stone. I don't need to run away from here. I'll just uh, stone it up right about here. It's here. There's the door. And I have realistic inventory size on because I am that kind of a crazy person. I didn't make it entirely horrible for myself. I do have easy inventory on, as you can see. Oh, god, that storage is full. Okay. Let's uh, production a thousand of those. Get working. Okay, well, that, you fit all of that. Can even climb out of here? Nope. But I can jump. Looks like I'm gonna have to. All right. I think one of the first things I probably want to build to be doing this right here is gonna be a building. No, 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 no. I need a emergency ration generator. So as you can kind of see up in here, I have bars, and but you can't really see them because there's some mud on that makes it look really fuzzy. Uh, the top one is food, the middle one is water, and the bottom one is fatigue. Alright, so, uh, I believe if I control right click. Uh, alt right click. Shift right click. There we go. That is queued up everything I need to make for this. And I actually have the components I need. Wonderful. Uh, I think I might have an issue. I might have an issue in the fact that I can't remember if stone will give me ice. As weird as that is to say. Is there a block right there blocking me? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well... Just put that down right about there. Yeah, so, um... Having killed myself gives me a debuff, apparently, where I go through hunger and thirst a lot faster. So let's, uh... See if maybe we can do something about that. Hey! Can I... Okay. Then we can production, ice, stone, and what? Okay, so I do need to locate ice, which could be bad, because I only have so much of it here. All right. Okay, um, oof, give me ten waters, I guess. Oh, boy. I, um, might not last long. Need to keep an eye out for any unknown signals, because those can have rations in them. Well, let's keep, uh, making some components, eh? We have, okay, we have atmosphere here, so the wind turbine should be a thing. Alright, so what's my next move? That's my next move! Uh, okay, yeah, um... That's gonna be a run to get that, because... Limited hydrogen! 
It's cool how you start breathing hard. Uh, I'm gonna... I have many things to worry about. Not least of which is the fact that I can only run so far here before I'm out of stamina. And that might actually affect the rate that I use up my other stats. I'm not sure. Alright, I need to start walking. In fact, I need to start walking. Okay, so if I walk, it doesn't change. It's probably faster if I uh, sit down. And you know what, we'll just uh, look at that awesome vista. Wanna know what's really cool? That's not a skybox, that's a planet with a ring. I love the parrot. Pet a mod. All right, let's keep going. I think a quarter of the way there. Screw it with the hydrogen. Well, the bonus is I'm in uh, low gravity, so I can hydrogen fairly easily. Almost right on top of it. Was that cool or what? Alright, let's... <laughs> Ooh, and some organic matter. I'll take it. Alright, what do you got for me? Cow. Oh, nice, that completely filled up my other bars. God, I really keep thinking I'm hearing something here. It's that space dementia. Okay, my uh, power is getting a little low. Energy critical. Yep, I'm aware. Not bad, not bad. Pretty close. Uh, there. In fact, I might refill my hydrogen. Uh, no, it won't because there's no ice in there. Okay, wow, I can't put either of those in there. Got it. She's still producing friggin' slow. Ugh. <laughs> Gray water, if you want to know what that is, it's peace. God, those sounds are weird to me. Alright. What do I want to do? Um, I need to take out some of this hydrogen. By which I mean ice. I don't know, give me 100. Toss that into there. And now I should be able to use this to refill both of those. Nice. Alright, how long do we have here? Six hours? See if we can't uh, extend that. Apparently not. Okay. Uh huh. Well, we should probably build some stuff. All right. I need cargo room. There. That's just the battery on that side. Alright. A medium cargo container. I should be able to make everything I need for that. Going to 
totally paranoid. All right. Uh, six. Make it. Uh, I don't quite have enough iron, so... By the way, in case you wonder why I keep changing uh, to a different weapon for this, or a different tool, it's because if you right-click with the drill, it drills. And I have to alt-right-click in order to put stuff away. So I end up drilling and doing damage to the survival kit, and I can't repair it. Well, I kind of can and kind of can't. All right. Uh, that should be enough iron. Yes, okay. Move that down to there. In fact, that should be enough for me to do that. Need to be really careful about drilling, so if I drill anything out of the car, out of the uh, uh, production by accident, I'm hosed. Okay, I should be able to fit the cargo right there. Make sure I've got that the way around I want it to be. What exact is it still producing plates? Oh, yeah, okay. There may have been some plates in here to begin with, actually. Alright, so, all the plates are done, we're on to the construction components, man, this... I kinda regret making the assembler's default speed. <laughs> Anything that moves is making me paranoid AF, I don't mind telling you. Oh, so close. Alright, the four motors. Should have waited to build that thing, maybe. Yes, you have stuff. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it was. it's been... Th I think it's been uh, moving other items into internal storage, and that's why it's stopping, so it has to transfer it back. Huzzah! We have been able to offload the rest of this. Okay. So, the next thing... We can remove both of these. Give me that. that. I'm like immediately out of iron. Okay. Back into the pit. I thought about building a build and repair nanobot system, but this thing's got limited power. Like I said, about six hours worth. Oh, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I want you. Now, one of the things I'm going to have to worry about is the fact that we are on a low atmosphere planet which means there is a high percentage chance that this wind turbine is not going to work well. This bridge will uh, burn when we cross, I don't know, something like that. Wow, that didn't help me see at all, jeez. Better off without that. Well, there's an interesting lighting glitch. Ooh. Now, from where I am, the only other moon I can see, I believe, is Paradise. Bet it is. Uh, 
I'm aware of temporary ship status. Alright. Let's, uh... That should be high enough. Uh, we don't need to build a base to start. We can just pull stuff right off of there. Alright. Let's move that back to there. Grab what I can for this thing. In fact, uh, let's do that. Oh, hey, there was a bunch of it right there I didn't see. That the uh, weird lighting glitch really helped with, actually. So one of the things we can potentially do is we can put an actual helm on this thing throw a gyro on it and fly it around essentially wrong one signal uh, essentially as though my mind is a sieve essentially as though it was like a helicopter that's worth grabbing whoa that is friggin cool looking I can't help it I mean just Look at that. Let's try and do this the right way. I'm not turning the jetpack on and off, I'm turning the dampeners on and off. in a nebula, that's why everything looks so cloudy. That thing's shaking around. Good, this isn't one of the ones that runs away from you. These things are annoying. Ah! Hold still. Got it. Okay, not a bad haul. And probably get nothing. At oh, we got something. Right. So now, if you're not familiar with the AW uh, scrap mod, what this is giving me is different kinds of scrap. So steel plate, computer, motor, small steel stube, tube, stube, so on and so forth. The mod is maybe a little imbalanced in the fact that this scrap is a lot lighter than the components that would have made it up. But, given that I've restricted the inventory size so much, that's not too big of a deal, balance-wise. But then I also have the advanced welding mod on. And what that allows me to do is, first of all, I can turn on detach mode on the grinder, and when I grind a block down below a certain level, it actually detaches it from the grid it's on. It also allows me to build welding strips. They essentially work like merge blocks that have zero area, and as soon as you merge two blocks together, they just vanish and those two blocks are together. I maybe could have picked a better way to phrase that, but you know what I mean? Here, have some of that. Alright, how's this looking? We are... we have enough nickel, we're short a lot of iron. Okay. You know, I'm almost tempted to get rid of the oxygen bottle, just so I have a bit more room here. 
but I wanted to limit the inventory size so that it prompts me, it encourages me to build transportation vehicles and cargo vehicles. And you can't just build like, you know, one cargo container and call it a day. Oh no no, au contraire mon frère, that is not enough. Alright, yeah, let's uh, throw one of them's in there too. So, how are we doing here? Oh, we're doing good, actually. Okay. Well, I'd... maybe good isn't the right word for it. We're not about to starve or die of thirst. So, you know, take, take that as you will. How are we doing now? Not great. I see a lot of this in my future. <laughs> 